let us take up the the next problem this includes almost all combinations of loads and as well as the conditions it is analyze the beam again completely by slope deflection method and sketch sfd and bmd and elastic curve so they have given ea as 20000 it is a b c d and an overhanging support d e also so ab is subjected to udl and point load bc is a triangular load we call it as uniformly varying load and cd is subjected to two concentrated loads at equal distance from either support and we have a load at e also of magnitude 10 kilo newton that is at the free end of the overhanging span so general equation let me put it here m a b m f a b plus 2 e i by l in the bracket 2 times of theta a plus theta b minus 3 delta by l take this as equation we are repeating for every problem so that it will be useful for you in the future course the simple equation mfab plus 2 ei by l 2 times theta a plus theta b minus 3 delta by l since one of the support is sinking we need to use the last term also in this problem also so let me go to the first step directly that is nothing but to find out the fixed end moments for the various spans we have 1 2 3 <laughs> spans and one overhanging so mf ab it is the combination of udl and as well as point load that means minus w l square by 12 minus w a b square by l square so that is equal to now minus 12 into 5 square by 12 minus i have 10 kilo newton a is 3 b is 2 square divided by 5 square it comes out to be minus 29.84 then coming to mf ba the same equation is only change is a square b so it is first part is 12 into 5 square by 12 udl component plus plus 10 into a square is 3 square into 2 divided by 5 square it will be positive it is 32.2 kilo newton meter So moving on to the next span, again we will have two different values. MF BC triangular load starts from zero at A to maximum value at C. Sorry, B to C. So MF sorry MF BC is minus W L square by 30. So it is equal to minus. 12 into 5 square divided by 30 it is equal to 10 kilo newton meter whereas mf cb it is wl square by 20 you can refer the table which you had given earlier so wl square by 20 is my plus 12 into 5 square by 20 it will be around plus 6 15 15 kilo newton meter <coughs> and the next span mf cd will be equal to minus mf dc because it is symmetrically placed plus and minus that is equal to minus w a into L minus A by L <coughs> minus W is twelve, A is two, L minus A is four. Twelve into two into four divided by span is six. 
it is equal to minus 16. That means MFCD is minus 16 and MFDC is plus 16. Whenever we get an overhanging, don't calculate the fixed in moments. So it is the final moment at D towards E. Whatever the moment acting, you just reverse it. It will be your final moment at D because it is overhanging. Then I can also put it here MDE. It will be minus because the left hand side anticlockwise. You have a load of 10 at a distance of 2. It is 10 into 2 minus 20 kilo Newton meter. Note this, this is not the fixed air moment, it is final also at D because DE is overhanging. Let us keep these moments at one side and again we can go for the next step. So what is the next step? It is development of the slope deflection equations using the available data. Let me put it on the same place. slope deflection equations MAB MFAB is you know the value it is 29.8 plus 2 EI by L 2 into EI is 20,000 divided by L is 5 meter you have 1 I so it is 2 I only 2 times of theta A plus theta B, support B sinks by 5 millimeters. So B sinks means we have effect on AB also, right support is sinking, same sign, 3 into 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3, 5 millimeter divided by 1000 divided by L is 5. Just simplify this now. It will be minus 29.8 plus, so it is 16,000 theta A plus 8,000 theta B minus 8,000 into 3, 5, 5 gets cancels. I think it is around 24 minus. 24. So therefore, MAB now 16,000 theta A plus 8,000 theta B minus 53.8. Take this as equation 2. On the same lines, you can substitute the values and get the other equations, slope deflection required. MBA is, what you will get the equation is plus 8000 theta A, 16000 theta B, you will get plus 8.2. This 24 remains same and I have a value of 32.2. So 32.2 minus 24 it is 8.2. Coming to M B C. Let me put the values here. It is minus 10, I think. M B C M F B C plus 2 into 20,000 divided by 5, 2 times of theta b plus theta c minus 3 into in the bracket minus 5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 because the support b comes downwards with respect to c divided by span 5. So this equation if you reduce it again it is 16,000 theta b plus 8000 theta C, so it is minus 16, 24, it is plus 14 I think it is. And 
and MCB I can put it using the above equation 8000 theta B 16000 theta C plus 15 plus 24 49. Thirty-nine, so twenty-four plus fourteen. Yes, it is thirty-nine, not fourteen. And the next span, MCD. You can see now, support B is sinking. It doesn't have any effect on the other span, CD. Only it affects AB and BC. Whereas CD, you don't need to use the last term, that is three times delta since we already substituted EA values but you need to use the same concept of substituting 20,000. Let me put the equation here the first is minus 16 MFCD plus 2 into EA is 1.5 times of 20,000. It is mentioned in the problem EA is 1.5 I divided by span is 6 in the bracket 2 times of theta B plus theta sorry theta C plus theta D. You do not get the last term because it does not have any link to the sink support. So, M C D is equal to 6.54 20, theta C plus 10,000 theta D minus 16. And M D C same thing with the exchange of coefficients 10,000 theta C 20,000 theta D plus 16. Since you have three clear spans A B B C and C D. So, we have six equations of slope deflection using them and use the conditions available. Now, we will go for the end conditions. We have only one end here that is A and the remaining all are supports where beam is continuous. So, let me take the third step A end conditions or boundary conditions we can say. Since A is fixed what is the condition we need to use now? So, the slope should be equal to 0. So, slope is 0. I will eliminate that term in the equations wherever available. In equation 2, 16,000 theta a is 0. In equation 3, again 8,000 theta a is 0. And let me take this second now. Compatibility or joint equilibrium. At B, since beam is continuous, the slope on either side should remain same. So, therefore, the moment should be same that is MBA plus MBC should be equal to 0. Where is MBA now? MBA is equation 2, MBC is equation 3. Add 2 plus 3 equations. You can just do the calculation 16,000 plus 16,000 it becomes 32,000 theta B and I have 8,000 theta C plus 8.2 plus 14. So, 22.2 positive transfer to the right hand side minus 22.2 take this equation as sum. At C, we have one more joint where beam is continuous. The moment on either side MCB plus MCD should be equal to 0. To maintain that MCB plus MCD should be equal to 0, it means we need to add that equation 4 and 5. Add equation 4 with 5. So, MCB. Eight, only one term here from both of them theta b. So, 8000 theta b 
I have theta c 16,000 and 20,000 theta c. From these two together, it is 36 theta c plus only one term for theta d, that is 10,000 theta d. Now 39 minus 16, it becomes 23 plus transfer to the right hand side minus 23. And at D, the beam is again continuous, but one of the side is overhanging. So, what I can put it here, it is MDC plus MDE should be equal to 0. So, how MDC equation is there, whereas MDE we have found in the fictional moment that the final moment is known. You can directly put them now 10,000 theta c plus 20,000 theta d. Here plus 16, I think it is minus 20. So plus 16 minus 20 is minus 4. We'll transfer to the right hand side, it is plus 4. Take this as equation 9. So, you have three linear simultaneous equations 7, 8 and 9. Solving these three, you will get the unknowns. So, solving 7, 8, 9, eight and 9, you will get the answers are theta b is minus 5.261 into 10 to the power of minus 4, theta c is minus 6.707 into 10 to the power of minus 4 and theta d is plus 5.353 into 10 to the power of minus 4. And of course, we know the another one slope theta a is 0. Although there are four unknown c, theta a, theta b, theta c and theta d, out of them one is already known by the ND condition, boundary condition. The remaining three we found by applying the slope deflection method. So next step is to substitute these into these equations 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Final step to calculate final moments. M A B eight thousand into theta B plus fifty three point eight. The answer is minus fifty eight kilo Newton meter. MBA have 16,000 theta B plus 8.2. It is minus 0.217 kilo Newton meter. The drastic change in moment is because of sinking of support B there. And MBC, if you put it, it will be plus 0.217 kilo Newton Victor because MBA plus MBC is equal to 0. And if you use the next equation to get the value of MCB, substitute all of them, you will get around plus 24.06 kilo Newton meter. And MCD is, of course, we should get 24 point minus 06 kilo Newton meter and we know the value of MDC even if you put a substitute into that equation 6 you should get exactly 20 kilo Newton meter and the final value MDE is also minus 20. So they will satisfy the compatibility condition 
at B, C and as well as D. So these are the final values of the moments. You can transfer them onto the beam minus 58 and it is minus 0 0.217 plus 0 0.217 and here it is plus 24 minus 24.6 and here it is plus 20 minus 20 so using the approach of slope deflection we found the moments at all the points a, B and as well as C. So next step is basic equations we need to develop from the free body diagram of A, B, B, C and C, D, E together. Let me take one by one free body diagram of A, B. It is a 5 meter span with a point load of 10 kilo Newton and UDL of 12 kilo Newton per meter. At A you will get full reaction, at B you will get partial reaction. Same conditions. Use the equilibrium conditions sigma of m a equal to 0 20 into 5 into 5 by 2 that is the moment due to UDL plus 10 into 3 that moment due to point load minus R B sorry before that and not introduce the moments here in moments it is 58 and 0.217 so now again 12 into 5 into 5 by 2 plus 10 into 3 minus 0.217 minus 58 minus RBA into 5 is equal to 0. Simple calculation RBA is equal to 24.36. So kindly check these answers. 24.36 RBA. So use the other equation of equilibrium sigma of Fy equal to 0. So total load is 12 into 560 plus 1070. So it is Ra plus RBA minus 12 into 5 minus 10 equal to 0. Therefore Ra we can found. 60 plus 10, 70, 70 minus 24, it is 45.64 kilo Newton again acting upwards. Twenty four point three six. So it starts from forty five, twelve into three thirty six. If you direct forty five minus thirty six, it is around nine, nine point six four here. Add ten for that. 
in the negative side it will be 0 0.64, 0 0.64, 3.6 or it is 45.64. This becomes 0.36 kilo Newton adding to that 12 into 224 it is 24.36 negative and positive. So, you came to know that it is changing its sign exactly at the point where point load is applied we call that as point P. So, you need to find the bending moment at P. So, that will be the positive value bending moment at P MP take it to the right side 24.36 into 2 plus because right hand side anti clockwise is positive bending moment minus 12 into 2 into 2 by 2 that is value is 24.94. So, free body diagram of BC. It is a triangular load of intensity 12 kilo Newton per meter over the span BC. Since both the plan contributes from other side RBC and RCB 5 meters and I have 0.217 kilo Newton meter of moment at B and 24.06 at C that is MCB. So, take moment about B taking moment about B and equating to 0 triangle load we know how to take the moment half into base is 5 into height is 12 this is the total load multiplied by where it is acting now because triangle load will be at the distance of one third from the apex or two third from the base since we are taking moment from the tip of the point 1 by 3 of 5 it is positive moment plus 24.06 it is also positive clockwise plus 0.217 it is also positive clockwise minus RCB into 5 equal to 0. You can check the answer RCB comes to 24.86 kilo Newton of course acting upwards. Take the other equation sigma of Fy equal to 0, total load is half into base into height RBC plus RCB minus half into base is 5 into height is 12 is equal to 0, 2 6 star 6 into 5 30. So, total 30 minus 24.86 is the reaction at B. So, therefore, RBC is 30 minus 24.86 is 5.14 kilo Newton. Again, this one is also acting upwards. Let me sketch the CFO's diagram because RBC is 5.14 kilo Newton, whereas RCD is 24.86 kilo Newton. So, 5.86 acting upwards, 1, 4, sorry. And how it varies now? It varies parabolically because it is a triangular load. The shear force itself is varies parabolically 
and the value here it is 24.86. Let me take this point as Q where again shear force is changing its sign in the span BC. To locate that let it be at a distance of X from left hand support B. If the same condition that shear force at Q is equal to 0. So using that condition now, f of q, let me take it to the left side because I have defined the distance from the left side. What are the forces acting to the left of it? Left of it, let me put it. A free body diagram separately so that it will be easier for you to calculate. Let it be y and this is x. I have a reaction of 5.14 kilonewton and of course this is 12 kilonewton per meter. Since we are finding only forces, I have not mentioned any moments here now. So f this point is q. F of Q is equal to 0, 5.14 is positive to the left hand side. What is this? If you continue this till the end now, we know for 5 meters this will rise to 12 kilonewton per meter totally. So using the similar triangles here, Y by X is equal to 12 by 5. Therefore Y is 12 by 5 into X. 12 by 5 is 2.4 times x. So two unknowns, we reduced it to 1 now. So instead of x and y, now it is only y. So what is the total load acting here now? Half into base is x and the height is y. So minus because acting downwards to the left side, half into base is x into height is y. y is 2.4 times x. For every meter it increases by 2.4 into 5 it becomes 12. So totally acting over that particular point. So using this equating it to 0 you will get an expression in the form of x square. 1.2 x square is equal to 5.14. So it is 2.07 meter. That means this distance is 2.07 meters. At a distance of 2.07 from B towards C, you will get the point of zero shear force. It represents the point of maximum bending moment. Let me calculate, therefore, bending moment at Q. MQ, again, I will take it to the left hand side. Five point one four into two point zero seven positive bending moment, and have another quantity of positive point two one seven, and minus of half into base is x is two point zero seven, height is one point sorry, two point four into two point zero seven. That is half into x into y multiplied by the distance since we will be measuring from the ordinate end. So it is so take this correction it is two third of five but of course answer will be same. So now it is one by three of 2.07. So MQ will be equal to 13.25. So note the distance correction here, the moment RM two third from the tip of it and from the base is one third. Of course, answer remains same. Uh, we have one more span. C 
C, D and E. And the end moments twenty four point zero six and you have positive negative twenty. Whenever we have overhanging, consider that overhanging along with adjacent spans, so calculations will be easier and the marking of CFOs by new diagram will also. So same steps here, let me take bending moment at C equal to 0, 12 into 2 plus 12 into 4, 24 plus 48 plus 10 into 8 plus 80 minus 24.06 minus rd into 6 is equal to 0. We do not get this 20, 20 positive and both will come. So therefore, rd 24 plus 48 plus 80 minus 24.06 divided by 6, 25.1. So sigma fy equal to 0. RCD plus RD minus 12 minus 12 minus 10 equal to 0. So it is 8.84. Eight point eight four minus twelve, three point one four kilo Newton plus twelve will be fifteen point one four oh, six seven eight point eight four minus twelve is one six. Fifteen point one six ten kilo Newton plus minus and plus. So we have two distinct points in the shear force. Let me call this as R, and of course it is D that we know the bending already at that point. You don't need to locate the distance here, so therefore. MR, let me take it to the left, 8.84 into 2 minus 24.06. Let us take this also so that we can have clearly MS. 12 into 8.84 into 4 minus 12 into 2 minus 24.06.
ट्वेल्व पॉइंट सेवन All the values now. Okay, let us mark the values of the bending moments at the ends and supports. You can see the change in the direction of the moment at B because of the sinking. Twenty-four point zero six twenty. 58 and we have positive values at P and there is a point Q, R and S. At P it is 24.94 positive. And at Q is 13.25 positive. And at R and S, minus 6.38 and 12.74 minus. Of course, at the end it is 0. It is 21.32. 12.68, correct? Uh? 12.68, it doesn't cross here, so it is 2.68, sorry, 0.68. Then minus 12, it is 11.32, 21.32, and then 10. So at R, it is 12.68 into 2 minus 24.06. Point three, one point three kilonewton meter, and at S is twenty four point zero six. 
12.68 into 4 minus 12 into 2 minus 24.06. One point or two point two point six four or six six. Slight corrections in this one, so it is one point three and two point six four. Since you have a UDL between A and B minus 58 to plus 24.94 and then to 0.217 and here also we have to show a curve here because it is whenever we have this combination we need to mention on the parabolic variation or cubic variation. When it comes to CD, it is linear variation and again between D. We have positive, negative, positive and negative. We can combine the shear force diagrams of all the segments. This will be bending moment diagram. So the shear force diagram it is 45.64 and minus 12 into 3, 36. It is 9.64 minus 10 is 0 0.36 plus 24. And then I have 5.14 here reaction. changes parabolically to 24.86. From there I have another 12.68 reaction here. That is clear there, then same diagram. Ten. This is eleven point three two. This is point six eight. So only this is parabolic variation because of triangular load in the shear force diagram and of course it is linear and other thing is straight line. So this will be your shear force diagram for the problem. And the last bit is elastic curve. Let me put it somewhere here. And of course, this support sinks by 5 millimeters. This 
support is fixed. These are all your point of contraflexure. You can observe there is a sinking gear and the free end there will be a deflection. So this completes your almost continuous beam and possible pattern of the loads and as well as the sinking of supports. And the steps remain same. The slope deflection equation general develop the equations for the given problem using fixed end moments and the available conditions. Reduce them to linear simultaneous equations, solve it, substitute back, you will get the moments. Then regular procedure using your equations of equilibrium, you can sketch your SFD, BMD and elastic curve. So thank you.